This placenta, after removal of the umbilical cord and the membranes and having had the description and have been weighed stripped of cord and membranes, has been fixed for two days. Um, as you can see, I have sliced this continuously as one would make slices of bread. They're relatively thin and I have made certain that they go through the cord insertion site. This is the cord insertion site here and it is important that you include this in your sections so that you can take an appropriate section through this as it is important for histology. Each slice needs to be examined carefully to see if there is any abnormality present. As you can see, most of this appears normal. And then you come to this slice and you notice there is a yellow firm area. If you carefully look at the other side of this slice, you can see the firm yellow area here with a hemorrhagic focus. This suggests there is an infarct, but on the other surface here, it is not present, so if you don't examine and cut thinly, you will miss lesions such as this. A question often asked is about this irregular outline here. These are the lobules that you sure saw when we looked at the maternal surface. In this area, there are at least one, two, three lobules. One thing you need to measure is the depth of the placenta. This can either be done in the fresh or the fixed state, but needs to be done with the section such as this. The width in this case is approximately 25 millimetres. If there is a thin section, you need to measure that. We have laid out some of the separated pieces in which there are lesions. As you remember, there is the white firm areas here with focal hemorrhage. This is the cord insertion site. There is a peripheral infarct here and a small hemorrhage here. Any lesions such as an infarct should be measured so you have some idea of their measurement. Measure them in greatest extent and another factor is to estimate what percentage of the placental volume is involved by infarcts. You need to take a section through the cord insertion site. So you take a, a section around that site, complete thickness unless it's very thick, in which case you may take it in two different portions. This is a small peripheral infarct here, or it could be that there is some fibrin deposition as well. This is a term placenta, so there is probably not a huge clinical significance associated with peripheral small infarcts such as this. This is a small subchorionic hemorrhage here. The site and size should be measured, however in this case it is only very small. The large subchorionic hem hemorrhages can be significant. Here is a small intervillous hemorrhage. It is probably not of clinical significance. There appears to be some paler areas here, possibly areas of fibrin deposition or vessels. In taking sections, we want to include the fetal surface where there are chorionic vessels. So a section such as this would include chorionic vessels and primary stem villus. This area here, as you can see, of the fetal surface does not have any vessels present. And when you turn it, you can see the absence of vessels.